was a bloody waste of time anyway. Hello there. Kind. Yes, please. I've just come up from the mortuary. The sister dead then? What? Oh, no. Unfortunately, no. I swiped this on the way up. Rather suits me, don't you think? Yes. More life in the mortuary than there is in here. <laughs> What's that you're doing? Hmm? Oh, not you as well. Oh, yes. Mind you, I don't suppose last minute revision helps at all. Especially the anatomy, Viva. What was the pass rate last year? 9%? Hmm. Well, at least I shan't fail it. Why? I'm not taking it. <laughs> uh, Professor? Ah, human beings. No, no, not quite. <laughs> so, when the dean said to me, how did you find America? I replied, <laughs> well, sir, I just stepped off the plane and there it was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what would you like to drink, Professor? Grapefruit juice, please. Right. Grapefruit juice, please. And I'll have a large... I'll have a lager. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening, sister. What? Oh. <laughs> what a surprise to find you in the bar, Stuart Clark. Yeah. This is Professor Sinnott from High Cross. How do you do, sir? Uh. Professor Sinnott and I will be taking the anatomy vivas tomorrow. Of course, you're not taking your fellowship, are you, Clark? No, sir. No, well, you probably wouldn't get it anyway. No, Professor, about tomorrow. Yes. I was wondering if we might try them on some neurologists. Well, uh, and there are at least some of the questions you might be asked. Can you think of any others? Well, oh, yes, sir. Another time for Paul tomorrow. You could have achondroplasia. Achondroplasia. Dyschondroplasia. Dyschondroplasia. Sometimes called Ollier's disease. Ollier's disease. Uh, <laughs> not Collier's disease. <laughs> Ollier's disease. <laughs> Collier's disease. <laughs> Uh, I got your drinks. Oh, great. Just got time for a quick one. I might go and do some brushing up on congenital deformities. Mm, well, have a look at Loftus. I'm sure he's one. <laughs> I've got him tomorrow. Relax, will you? I pass plenty of exams without getting worked up like you. There's a whole technique for taking them, especially beavers. Yes, well, I'm certainly not going to revert to any cheap tricks. <laughs> I know my stuff, anyway. A very good trick is, if they give you a specimen and you can't identify it, just drop it on the floor. They'll give you another one. <laughs> To just point to one and say what's that and you don't know. Find one that you do know, tell them what it is very quickly, and they'll probably accept that. Ooh, maybe. Hey, where's Upton? Hold up somewhere with a pile of books, is he? Mike? No, he's borrowed Vincent's car for a couple of quid and gone off to relax and do a bit of fishing. He'll be back in the morning in time for his beaver. Oh, this beer's no good. I must have a scotch. Sorry about this in a day, Professor. But I really have to go. Can I get you another drink? No, no, no. One's enough, thank you. Yes, yes, quite. Well, till tomorrow, then. Yes. Nice and early, eh? Jim. Yes. Jim, can I have a scotch, please? A large one. Jim, can I have a large scotch? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I get you another one? No, I don't want another one, What was it, a gin or a scotch? I never touch alcohol. Oh. If, if your craving for it weren't so fierce, you might avoid causing accidents. Look, I said I'm sorry, but the last thing I want is a lecture on the evils of drink. I know what they are and I like them. I was just going to no, say no, no, that... No, I've had a hard day. I've apologised and offered to buy you another one. So you can either drink up or shut up. Right. You're like sluts, Paul. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, for a couple of years, I could do heart transplants. I mean, they're terribly simple, aren't they? <laughs> a piece of cake, Bingham. God. I thought you were going to relax. No, I just spilled a drink of an idiot at the bar. Mm. Then he started a lecture on the demon booze. Look at him glaring at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, him? Yeah. That's Professor Sinnott. He's the other examiner on your beaver. Doctor? Yes, thank you, Mrs. Berkeley. Oh, it's a pity you can't stay longer. This is lovely weather. Oh, have you taken the tissue call? Uh, no. Oh, well, I'll get it for you then. Oh, well, no, no, don't bother. What time is the exam, Doctor? Just after two. It'll take me an hour and a half to get to London, and then I should be there in time for a spot of lunch, and then straight into the exam. Very good luck, mate. Thanks. Here you are, then. Oh, no, look, look, you keep it. Yeah, yeah. It isn't quite a Moby Dick, is it? Here, I've got an idea. Oh, you've got to have something to show your friends, yes. haven't you? Now, you must come and see us again, Doctor. Oh, I will. I ah, here you are. Here's the one I caught yesterday. Oh. You say it's yours. No, no, I, I don't think I could. Really. Oh, get oh, yes, out. get along with oh, you. Yes, yes, I will, then. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks a lot again. <laughs> Good Bye. luck. Bye. We give this to the cat. Yeah, it wouldn't touch a tiddler like that. <laughs> then there's the transversus perinei superficialis and the uh, bulbo uh, 
bulbo thing, you know. Bulbo bul spongiosis. Bulbo spongiosis. And, uh, Hello, there, everybody. Hold just a minute, Bingham. Paul's going over a couple of things. Oh. Now, look, you've got the transversus, perineae, superficie. <laughs> perineae. And the bulbar spongiosis. Bulbar spongiosis. And then there's the... Uh, Ischio cabinets. Oh, shut up, will you? <laughs> <laughs> then there's the uh, transversus perineae... Perineae. Uh, profundus. Mm, there's finger urethra. Oh, for God's sake, well, Bingham. Look, if he doesn't know it now, it's just too late, isn't it's it? It's never too late. Oh, he's, he's right. It is too late, and I don't know it. Anyway, that, that guy I spilled the drink over will fail me. Anyway, where's Upton? Isn't he back yet? No, not yet. Well, he's cutting it a bit fine, isn't he? I suppose he's going to dash in at the last minute and astound us all. The question you don't want to be asked is, what is the dose of morphine? Morphine? Well, that's so easy. If oh, you get asked that question, you fail. <laughs> Why? It's Professor Sinnott's way of letting you know that you failed as soon as possible. He doesn't like to keep you in suspense. I bet it'll be my first question. <laughs> <laughs> well, here I go. Uh, Paul, you're after me, aren't you? Yes. Yes, well, I'll be off then. Isn't anybody going to wish me good luck? There's a fuel pump, you see. It's all right. Let's go. the test, but on this occasion the fingers, or tourniquet, are not removed for about half a minute, and the filling of the veins at this time indicates an incompetence of the perforating veins, and there, gentlemen, is your Brody trendelenburg test, often referred to just as Trendelenburg test, but it was mentioned before by Sir Benjamin Brody some 50 years before. Yes, 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 quite, Bingham. That's enough. Yes, quite. Actually, I find the history of medicine just as fascinating as the modern practice of it. Really? Yes. It doesn't exactly help you to become a better surgeon, does it, Bingham? Well, I don't know, Professor. <laughs> I think here at St. Swithin's you're tended to neglect the actual history of medicine rather You're here to answer questions on anatomy, Bingham. He's been answering them, too, rather well. Thank you very much, sir. I have been working rather hard. <laughs> Not like some people I know who, who, who go off on fishing trips and treat the whole thing as if it's... What wonderful. can you tell us about the neurone theory? Ah, yes. Now, Waldire's neuron theory holds that each neuron is an independent anatomical unit. And that although nervous impulses pass from one neuron to another at a synaptic junction, there's no structural continuity between the two. Actually, and <laughs> this is very interesting, uh, this view has been attacked from time to time. But I, along with many neurologists, support it wholeheartedly. <laughs> <sighs> uh, um, the hypothalamus? You've tried that. Uh, any sign of Mike? Yes, he should be around by now. Look, if it's not the hypothalamus, what is it? Look, Paul, give it a rest. You're going in in a minute. Yes. Look, what if old Sinnott recognises me? I tell you what, put these on. Oh, that's a good idea. And change your voice. Eh? Hey? Oh, yes. Yes. No, no. Thanks. <laughs> well? Well, what? Did they ask it? Oh, they asked quite a lot of things. I may say they got some very good answers. <laughs> Did they ask the dose of morphine? Oh, no. Oh. So you're through? Oh, yes. Well, I knew I would be. Oh. <laughs> what else did they ask? Well, they ask quite a lot on neurology, and I must say I gave them one or two answers, especially the one... That's me. Good luck, Paul. <laughs> uh, they did ask quite a lot on veins, too. Veins. No, no, too late. Get in there. <laughs> Good luck, Paul. Yeah. Up to not back, yes? Yeah? No. Uh, do hope he's not going to Mrs. Weaver. Mm, I do hope not. <laughs> Oh, 
We're over here, Collier. <laughs> Sir. What's wrong with your eyes? Conjunctivitis, sir. And your voice? Laryngitis, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we'll try and keep the questions down to the minimum. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, suppose we start with a specimen. Now, what can you tell us about this? Uh, uh, yes, uh, le let me see. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> Phylicton <clears throat> shows cellular infiltration, but the cultures of the discharge don't reveal any specific organism. Yeah. Is that all? Yes, yes, I... Uh, yes. Are you sure? I can't think of anything else. <laughs> what about the possibility of the condition being allergic? Oh, yes, of course. It, it can be connected with TB. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. I think we've covered enough ground, don't you, Professor? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I think so, oh, yes. Thank but you. But I, I would like you to identify one specimen before you go. Yes, I'm sorry about the three I dropped. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Nerves, and of course, your, your, your conjunctivitis. <laughs> well, how about this one? Uh, <laughs> this is part of the esophagus. Yeah. You've picked up the wrong one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Never mind, never mind. Excellent, excellent. Now, do you want to ask any questions, Professor Loftus? <laughs> And now, young man, can you tell me the best way to recognise a high cross man? No, sir. Well, a high cross man always examines his patients with one hand in his pocket. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and do you know how to re the best way to recognise a St Swithin's man? No, sir. Well, a St Swithin's man always examines his patients with both hands in his pockets. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. What's the dose of morphine? Oh, <laughs> Look, I I'm terribly sorry about this. There's probably a pub farther down the road. I I'll just try and find a repairman. And I'd better clean up a bit first. I suppose. I shouldn't have got so confident. Relax, Paul. It's all over now. Yes. I wish I knew where Mike was. Yes, and after all, I mean, you can't win them all, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, I've been extraordinarily lucky with exams ever since I took my 11 plus. You know, I got more O levels than anybody else. Do you know, in my class, oh. I, I wish you'd stop bragging for five minutes. Well, I mean, if you've got the ability, why well, hey. What? Phone. <laughs> Hello? Mike! Where are you? What? 
Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, just a minute, he's in the bar. Professor Loftus. Mm. See you. Go. It's Mike Lupton, sir. Oh. Hello? You what? A breakdown? A nervous one? Oh, a car one, I see. No, you won't, will you? Professor Sinnott has to leave it for. Look, can't you take a taxi? No, I suppose not. Well, now, look up. Hello? Hello? Oh, blast. Bloody annoying. Sir, if he phones back, will he get his number? He's in a call box. Yes, sir. Professor? Slight problem. What's up? Mike's car's broken down. He'll never make it for the Beaver now. Oh, no. Nobody's passed except me. If Upton doesn't turn up, I might be the only one. <laughs> I quite agree. His papers were excellent. But what can we do? Well, I realise it's irregular. But uh, if he phones back, we could give him his Viva on the phone. What? Well, if you give him three fairly stiff questions, that should be enough. Well, I don't know about... Well, it's either that or we're passing without a Viva at all. That we cannot do. No. No, I suppose not. He's on the line again, sir. Hmm? Oh. Hello, Upton. Look. What do you think of this for an idea? Well, on, on, on the phone, sir? <clears throat> well, yes, but uh, well, it's, a, it's a bit impractical. <laughs> yes, y yes, I realise that. Well, I'll, I'll just get some change and then I'll call you back. Um, can I have a pound worth of change for the phone, please? I should like to point out that the phone is for the use of patrons only, and you don't appear to have bought a drink. Ah, oh, well, uh, could I have uh, a pound's worth of change for the phone and a half of bit? Here, George, give us a couple of pints, will you? Right. Thank you. Well, this is... Oh, what? Ah, just you watch this, Charles. There we are. I want three. No, look at that. Just one lemon. Hello? Oh, God. Hello. Um, is that the bar? Ah, oh, well, could I... Yes. Yes, it is, sir. Well, I don't think that's necessary. Well, well it's a better line. Better than the one I had before, sir. Yes, 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 I'm ready. Oh, go on. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, the um, primary tuberculous focus may occur anywhere within the lungs. Uh, the neighbouring hilar lymph nodes... <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Just a minute. Just a moment, Upton. Yes, Professor? Wouldn't it be more convenient to take the call in your office? Now, look, he's loaded up with change and it's rather a good line. And they only come once in a lifetime. Well, well, what's he, what's he talking about now? The hyla lymph nodes. Well, I rather wanted to ask him about those. Well, I've asked him. You can take the answer. Well, this is outrageous. I mean, he, he's only got to answer a couple of questions. He's not going to see any specimens. I think this is totally unfair to the rest. Trust you to adopt that attitude. You hear you talk, you think he'd done it on purpose. He might have done. Oh. Who's to know he'll be in that, in that, in that box with, with all his anatomy books around him? Well, he can't because I've got all his anatomy books. Oh. Well, they didn't do you much good, did they? <laughs> One more remark, and then I'll take you outside. Look! Look. How much isonicotinic acid hydroside would you use? Two pints? What? <laughs> oh, well, you see, it's because he's in a pub and somebody was ordering two pints. <laughs> Hold on, Upton. He seems all right on pulmonary TB, but how about something on osteology? Vertebrae, maybe? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Sir, if you want something rather rare, what about congenital anomalies of the bladder? That's an idea. <laughs> Professor, I think you and I are quite capable of providing questions without the assistance of the boy wonder here. <laughs> How about the sacral plexus? Yes. God, you're a rat, Bingham. What? I think we ought to leave. Not before I finish telling this creep a few home truths. What home truths? I'll tell you a few. All right, shut up, you lot! Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever played that one over the great man? Have you ever
Uh, the ventral rami of the first, second, and third sacral nerves, and part of the fourth sacral nerves. I think the jackpot says, Oi, you've got a ten penny bit. Look, I'm doing an exam. What? The lumbosacral truck. Here, look, mate, just lend a ten penny piece, will you, mate? It's look, 20 I'm, minutes. Oh, here's one. Cheers, mate. Sorry about oh, yeah, that, sir. Yeah. The trunk comprises a part of the ventral rami. It's rain. your goal. What? It's your goal. <laughs> the fourth sin of the lo fourth lumbar nerve. Just pull it. Uh, well, I can't. Oh, I'm never mind him. Come on. Uh, Charlie, it's bad luck if he yes. puts his money in and don't play. Come on. And the whole of... No, no, I'm busy. It's your go. Just, just pull it. Excuse me, sir. All right. <laughs> sir, uh, right. But in the whole of the ventral ramus of the fifth... Hey, you got a free go. Look, I'm trying to... <laughs> well, take it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sir, and now it appears at the medial margin of psoas major and descends over the pelvis. Oh, boy! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Somebody's won on a fruit machine. Oh, oh, what a fruit oh, machine. Must be over eight quid's worth there. Yes, right, as, as it descends. Yeah. Two way. <laughs> Now you've got ventral divisions and dorsal. You want a couple of quid? No, you haven't. Here, there's your tempest will back. Charlie, that's bad luck. Give him his share. Are oh, you giving half of yours? He's not even this money. I said it was to be spent three ways. You trying to tell me what to do with my money, no, eh? Charlie, just you take your hands off me. I'm warning. Then the nerves to the waiter, Amy, and coxageus. Come on, gentlemen, please. Let me have in your glasses. Um, now that'll be oh, the. Um, Cut it out, Charlie. That'll be the sciatic. Not saying. Quick, got it. You've got it. Have your share. It's only right. You should. You phone the police. I'll have you too. I'm just a private guy. I'm telling you. I warned you. Come on, 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 a fight or something? What about his answers? First rate. No morphine question? Certainly not. Perhaps you ought to ring him in an hour or so and let him know. Yes. Must have been a slight strain for him. Oh! Well, that's enough for one day. Right, come on, outside. I will I will not come outside. What's the matter, scared? No. Why did, why did you go outside with him? He doesn't want to punch me. <laughs> what? Oh, that... You don't really want to punch me. Yes, I do. And if you don't come outside, I'll punch you in here. Well. Yes! <laughs> oh, I've been longing to do this for ages. Right? Please, get back to everybody, please. I'm offering 50 to one on Bingham. <laughs> ah, fix your car up all right, Doc. Thank you very much. Oh, you fixed us up very nicely, didn't you? <laughs> Well, I'm afraid your, your winnings went to pay the damages. Did they? Oh, well, never mind. Thanks, anyway. Great. Thank you. All the best. Hello, hey, I forgot to tell you. Hospital just called. I passed. Well, it's hey, good for you, Doctor! <laughs>